Yes, guys. Guys, we're testing, 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 right? The Arclix ISOs are all on AAG, and this is Nimdo. We are testing with um, Data, one of our beta testers, on Discord, and we are testing all kinds of settings. So Arclix B is in my USB. It's still in there. Yes, better pop it out, otherwise I'll break it with my knee. And. Um, then we decided to use advanced setting and grub or system D. I decided system D boot. Then I decided to choose butterfs, and this is an important hint and an important remark. When you install uh, the application, any over ISOs, right? We have the Calamaris where you can decide to have butterfs support, and there is if you choose ButterFS, like I've done, it makes no sense not to select Time Shift or not to select Snapper. In this case, I have selected Snapper. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, hmm, where should I go? Let's go to the Calamaris configuration. Everything is online, right? So if you want to learn, start building. Uh, no, not that one. <laughs> Article X, right? And then you can have a look at the code that we probably pushed online just recently. Any of these is good. They're all configurations and modules and blah, blah, blah. That's gonna be in. <laughs> Utilities. So if you are on Calamars and you are choosing ButterFS as a format system, then it's either this you choose which is grub, butter, vest, and time shift, and auto snap, or this you choose. And it's all of them. It's not just one package or anything. I select always the top level, so I have everything. And we're gonna use it now to test Snapper again. So basically it's a video about Snapper, but it's a long story. It's also the new guy, Nudo, <laughs> Nimdo, sorry, <laughs> which is here available on the language of Nim. And Super Q is there, and Super X is there, and Super Shift X is there. They're all working, it's fine. And the respect, well, the special, it's the default Compton or uh, Pycom, right? So that's uh, all present. Snapper. Well, Super D, if you've selected what I've selected, you have the Snapper tools, and that's basically it if we type Snap, right? If we go for Terminal, and you have Snap, you have all these guys, uh, guys, Snapper and Snapper Tools, and that's about it. Okay, so what if um, I install something? Pseudo Pacman minus S Vivaldi is not yet there. Let's get Vivaldi in. What happens if you select everything I've selected? Is a strange line that we normally don't see? Root four. What? Root four. Root five what's going on right so the idea is with snapper that you make sort of a time machine image like we have an apple and a moment in time where you say before installation and root 4 is before installation of Vivaldi and root 5 is after installation of Vivaldi and if you say my system is a critical system it has always to be online and i can't solve problems um immediately right so you can always go back to root 4 go back to root 20 right as long as you keep on installing it will create more stuff like chromium is not going to be there either i think so if i if i run my arcalix um, nemesis scripts I'll end up with, I don't know, root 30 or something. So here again, you see root 6 before installing of Chromium and root 7 after. So the idea is then if you have a problem, you can actually, which I can't record, you can't, you can reboot and you get the line. And you can from the grub immediately go to the correct line, root 6, 5, 4, 3, like that. There's also something to have a look at here so if everything is still working and you still have a graphical environment you go here you can go here 
to the snapper tools and have a look here. So basically I've installed Arconix B Nimdo. I installed simple screen recorder, which was one before, after timeline, which was not me. Vivaldi before Vivaldi, after Vivaldi, before Chromium, after. And there is more than Chromium. Liberation of font is there as well. So here I can do all kinds of things with this particular tool. I can say, let's delete it, let's restore it. So if you want to go back to this particular moment in time, where Pac-Man was not yet installed, it's actually both of them, right? <laughs> so Vivaldi, I could do this. And I think we'll get, yeah, a message. Are you sure you want to restore? Yes, and then everything, the process starts and you need to immediately reboot, which I can't record, obviously, because it's a real metal machine. Ah, I didn't mention that. This is a real metal machine with NVIDIA. So all is well if you have an NVIDIA card. We use NVIDIA DKMS and that's good for every kernel out there. And that's maybe the safest way to do things. But again, up to you. There are other packages. All right, that's it for me. Um, after the video, I'll see if the grub is there, but um, it's interesting to know all these little tips that yeah you can apply in ArchLux and of course in anything, anything Arch Linux based. And we're here to teach you about Arch Linux and if possible, just Linux. All right, cheers.